Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to show you a really quick, easy way of creating kind of like a cat eye look with very minimal product and like I said, super quick and super easy to do. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already added a touch of eye primer on my lids, but the main product we're going to go in with first is the Lily Lolo eye, eye Pencil, and this is in the shade brown. You can use any kind of shade pencil you want to, black, brown, grey, if you want to use a pop of colour, use a pop of colour, but something that's going to be is good to draw with, but also easy to kind of smudge and blend and manipulate as well, which these pencils definitely are. So, let's actually zoom in a bit, shall we? Get my open close and personal. Okay, so I'm going to show you with this eye. So what we're going to do first, and you don't have to be too neat with this either, which I think is why this is so easy to do. Okay, so first step would be trying to decide where your wing placement wants to be. So that's kind of up to you whether you prefer something that lifts your eye, if you prefer slightly more straight on kind of wing. I like to slightly lift the eye, so I'll follow my lower lash line. And just go out so far. I'm just more sketching it, so I'm not worried if this isn't neat or anything. And then I'm just going to drag and bring back onto the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and coat the inner portion as well. Like I said, still not too worried about it's neat or even. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to drag it along the lower lash line. and pop it into the waterline. And I'll worry about that inner portion in a minute. Okay, so something like that to begin with. So I haven't really gone to worry, I'm not really too worried about how messy it looks or kind of whether it's even on my eyes at the moment. But the next step we're going to do is grab a pencil brush. This is a, an iconic London brush. And I'm just going to smart start smudging this. So this is why I say you don't need to be too neat. Because we're just going for a bit more of a smudged look. Which kind of makes this whole process so much quicker and easier. So he's kind of going over the edges, smudging it, making things a little bit wider if you want to, on the eyes. And don't worry too much about the flick either, because what we can do is we can take some concealer, just run it on underneath and kind of sort out the wing if we want to. Okay, then I'm just going to do the same on the lower lash line. And with this you can kind of drag it down as low as you want to. And again, we can really tidy up with concealer afterwards, so I'm really not worried about being too neat at this post at this time. I'm just kind of building on the shape and smudging out the colour. And I'm going to try not to edit any of this bit out so you can really see in real time oh, sorry, GI, how quick this can be. Okay, and what I'm doing is in the inner corner, I'm just kind of just blending what's there around the inner portion. I'm not going to do that flick, I'm just going to keep it kind of rounded and something like this. Cool. So what I'm going to do next is now I am going to do a little bit of tidying up. So I'm going to take a concealer brush, concealer brush, and what I'm going to take is not concealer, because I find sometimes concealer can be a bit too thick and heavy. So I'm going to go in with my Lilo Eye Primer for this. And then I can just neaten up what I want to neaten up. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit along the lash line. So literally I can go along, do it tidy, and then if you're not happy with a flick, you can literally just use the concealer to manipulate. I quite like doing it so it drags it out ever so slightly, like that. I'm going to use it just to tidy up the lid section ever so slightly. So 
So we have something like that. I'm just going to do a bit more tidying in the inner portion. Okay, so we have something like that. So what I'm going to do next is I want to, because this is kind of a creamy eye pencil, and depending on your eye shape um, and how oily your lids are, you might want to set kind of the crease upwards to prevent any transfer. Um, but we are going to set the actual eyeliner itself. First, I'm just going to take some, this is collection powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set the lid. It doesn't matter if I take this onto the eye pencil because like I said we're going to add a bit of shadow to the pencil just to help set that as well. That also helps slightly brighten the crease as well. So I can really just push that product in to make sure you're nice and set. You can do under eyes if you want to as well. Okay. Then all we want to do is just take a shadow very similar in shade to the pencil we've used. I'm going to go in here with my Beauty Pay palette here. And I'm going to go in with Slow Motion because I think that's probably the nearest shade. Again on the pencil brush. And I'm just going to go over the top of what we have just done. So what it's going to do is help intensify it if you've kind of um, put too much of the pressed powder over the top. But it's also just going to help further set. I'm using quite a light hand with this because obviously we've already tied up our shape. And it's more just to kind of help set. And with the wing portion, because I like the shape, I don't go too far out. It's not really going to, because it's on this outer portion, there's no crease to kind of transfer onto. So you can just really, really focus on the eyeliner that is actually around the eyes. And that has got more of a chance of kind of transferring onto the kind of upper lids or kind of upper space up here. And that is it. Then go ahead and load up the lashes with mascara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and do the other eye. I will still film it, but I'll probably speed up this time. And um, I'll come back for the final results. I like to be educated. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew It's just a super quick way of kind of creating a slight cat eye effect on the eyes. Very minimal product. I think very easy because like I said you don't have to be particularly precise because you just want to get that pencil on there, get a rough outline, smudge it out. You then use your concealer to kind of neaten up where you want to and then set with powder and that is that complete. So like I said you could do it with black, you could do it with grey, if you want to pop a colour do it with some colour. Um, kind of whatever suits maybe your eye shade would be great and um, yeah something really quick easy um, 
and yeah I kind of really like this because it does really frame the eyes as well and looks quite cool. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know probably quite a quick one and very eye focused but um, yeah I did this the other day and I really loved it and I wanted to show you so I really hope you enjoyed. Leave any requests for each videos down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.